On paper, Pinterest is the perfect new social media platform for you to try in 2020. Video views are up almost 30%. User base increased by 20% and up. CEO of Pinterest straight out came up and said, anybody that posts video content is going to get tons of views and engagement on our platform because that's how well video content is performing. So I wondered why aren't more marketers talking about Pinterest? Why aren't there more videos about Pinterest? And why aren't there more people simply speaking about it? Well, I decided to try out Pinterest for myself. And in the first month of me trying out the platform, I took an account with zero views and got it to over 120,000 views. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to do it so you can replicate that for yourself. This is going to end up being a one, two, three part Pinterest marketing series because I'm not at all satisfied at where I've gotten and I've hit some pain points with the platform that I'll discuss in the end of the video. But with that being said, let's get right into it. How I took a Pinterest account from zero to 120,000 plus views and how you can do the exact same thing. Roll the intro. Welcome back to my channel. You're now rocking with the best. My name is Bobby, the influencer CEO, and this is the channel where we help you build influence on social media. So if you're looking to start your movement online, please consider subscribing to this channel and liking this video. It helps us out within the algorithm. Now, before we get started, I want to talk about how I stumbled upon this method because I'm new to Pinterest and I took the route that many of you took. I Googled a YouTube, how to grow on Pinterest. And the content that I was seeing was telling me to simply post pretty pictures and use hashtags. So that's exactly what I did. I took some of my best content from YouTube, some of my best content from my blogs and reposted it to Pinterest. And lo and behold, I was getting about zero likes, zero pins, zero views on everything. And I was confused because here we have the CEO of Pinterest saying, Come to Pinterest, you're going to see tons of engagement. I mean, that's straight from the CEO. And I was a little bit concerned. Maybe it was me. Maybe it was my content. And if you've already tried to get started on Pinterest, maybe you're having these same doubts yourself. Maybe my content isn't good enough for Pinterest. Well, trust me, it's not you. And it's also not Pinterest. It's just the way that you're telling Pinterest to show your content to more people. And that's when the thought clicked in my head. I need to take the expertise I have from YouTube and from Instagram and simply apply it to Pinterest. The most successful Instagram and YouTube accounts are niche accounts that simply define who they are and who the social media platform should show their content to. To boil it down, it's really simple. What I figured out to do is we need to tell Pinterest, let's say that I am a soccer player. We need to simply tell Pinterest, hey, I'm Bobby. I'm a soccer player. I post soccer content. You need to show my content to more people who like soccer. Now, once I figured out exactly how to do this with my Pinterest content, I saw my views explode. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And here's what it's going to look like. This is what I'm going to be showing you how to do. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be defining our niche and we're going to be doing some really extensive keyword research. Then what we're going to do is we're going to create keyword rich boards. So Pinterest recognizes us within the algorithm. And then we're going to stuff that board with viral video content. So remember at the beginning of this video, I spoke about video content performing incredibly well on Pinterest. That's for a couple of reasons. The main one being it's so new. Pinterest, uh, I think, just adopted video content recently. So video content is what's crushing it on Pinterest right now. So we know that video content is what does really well. And we know that defining ourselves is the way to tell Pinterest to show our content to more people. So that's what this strategy is going to be all about. Using keywords, telling Pinterest, hey, I'm Bobby the baker, Bobby the yoga instructor, whatever you are, we're going to be telling Pinterest exactly who we are and who to show our content to. And then we're going to be taking advantage of, I guess, the video loophole where Pinterest is showing video content to 10x the people than standard pins. And we're going to be creating boards with those keywords that we are, that we've defined ourselves as. And then we're going to be stuffing it with video content and uh, Pinterest will then show it to a ton of people. So with that being said, let's get started. To being successful on Pinterest, like we said, is defining ourselves, our content, and our niche. Now, I can't reach into this camera and tell you what your niche is, but just take the basic words. So for example, here we are on Pinterest, and I want to post my Instagram tips to Pinterest. So here I am on Pinterest, and what I'll do is I'll type in my keyword, Instagram. 
And you could see right here that it's going to bring up our keyword and what people who are interested in our keyword, the subcategories that they're searching for. So if you're interested in Instagram, most likely you're coming to Pinterest and you're searching Instagram story ideas, uh, captions, highlight covers, picture ideas, story templates, highlight icons, bio ideas, things of that nature. So let's say that you are a yoga person. Let's type in yoga right here. So people who are interested in yoga are um, looking for yoga poses for beginners, yoga poses, yoga fitness, yoga quotes, etc. right? And that's really important because like I said, phase two of what we're doing right here is we're going to be creating boards and creating content um, for the people that are searching for our keywords. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna search for our keywords. This is step one. Um, another way that you could search for keywords is you can go to the advertisement panel and let's say that you are a photographer, you can type in a keyword like camera and you're also going to get some more um, keywords here and then it's also going to show you the monthly searches of the people looking for it so chances are if you're a photographer uh, and you're into photography you're going to pinterest and you're looking up keywords like best camera for blogging all right so now that we've defined ourselves and remember this is important because we need to tell pinterest who to show our content to at the end of the day, Pinterest decides who to show our content to, not based on random selection. There isn't literally a person going, I like this pin, let's show it to more people, but it's an algorithm. And so the algorithm detects, this person is posting yoga content. This is clearly yoga content. Let's show it to more people who like yoga. And at the end of the day, that's all we're trying to do is help Pinterest, help them help us help them, right? Uh, so basically help Pinterest show our content to more people. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take our niche, we're gonna search for keywords. And then the second thing that we're gonna do is we're going to create a board based upon that keyword. So like I said, my niche is Instagram. So the first thing I did was I went to Pinterest and I typed in Instagram. And then the first thing I saw was Instagram story ideas. So what I did, then did is I created a board called Instagram story ideas. And just to show you that what I'm talking about is working, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a board right here. Instagram stories, cool story ideas. Click create and just based upon the title, um, just based upon the title alone, um, it's going, Pinterest is going to start populating pins it thinks should be in the board, which means that Pinterest's algorithm is working. And just based upon the title of the board alone, um, it's populating uh, content it thinks should be in there. And so this is perfect. That means that uh, Pinterest has already defined our board in the content that's going to be in it. And Pinterest is going to have an easier time showing this type of content to more people it thinks may be interested in it. So that's why the keyword research is so important. And my first instinct when I got to Pinterest was to create a board like Bobby's Instagram tips. That's what, that's what I called my boards. I, I called it, or I had something like build influence with Bobby, which is a good name for a board. It's good for personal branding, but it's not good for keyword search at all. It's not good, you know, Pinterest doesn't know who you are, right? So Pinterest, the only way they know you who you are is by keywords. So now once we've created our board, what we need to then do is fill it with video content because going back to here, remember, the second part of this, the first part of this hack, this first part of this method is simply defining our niche with keywords, creating boards uh, that are based upon those keyword rich keywords, and then filling it with video content because we know video content performs so well. But where are we going to get video content? And this may be the part where I lose um, some of you here. So we're going to use an app called TikTok. And TikTok is essentially an app filled with 60 second video pieces of video content that are highly viral, meaning they capture attention really well, and they're also incredibly niche specific. So what we're gonna, then gonna do is we're going to download TikTok videos and TikTok makes it as easy as possible to simply download platform, uh, videos from their platform. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to repost it to our Pinterest boards. Now, I know what you're thinking. Bobby, I want to be on Pinterest to post my own content. We're, we're gonna get to that at the end of the video, but this is simply what's going to drive the traffic to the rest of our boards. So just keep that in mind. Of course, this is all about you and this isn't just about reposting other people's content. Of course, if you can create your own TikTok uh, videos or if you have your own videos, feel free to use those instead. But for most of us, I think we don't have, you know, a hundred pieces of video content perfectly formatted in a vertical setting uh, that's uh, 
hyper niche and captures the user's attention. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to get content from TikTok. All right, so like I said, you should already have a list or an idea of the keywords or the traffic that people are looking for on Pinterest. Remember what I said, people who are interested on Instagram go to Pinterest for these things right here. And then what you do is you go to TikTok and you type in those keywords. So all I did was type in Instagram stories and TikTok populated thousands of Instagram stories that I could use for my keyword rich boards. Now let's do another one. Let's let's type in, let's go back to yoga. Let's try this one again. Let's do yoga. So yoga poses. Let's see what comes up here. Yoga poses. Yoga, no, it's <laughs> yoga posed. Yoga poses. Okay, so here you go. Now we have hundreds of videos about yoga poses and these are perfect and already formatted. They're already incredibly niche specific um, videos for our boards. So now what we do is what we do is we click through and we go to this little arrow button right here, and you can see that there's a button called Save Video. Boom, and what it's gonna do, it's actually gonna save it to your camera roll, and then you could simply upload it to Pinterest from there. You can go through. There's also a website called, let's look it up here, TikTok Downloader. And you could simply um, tick, look up TikTok videos from the web, and then you can just copy and paste it and this will download it straight to your computer. Now, a quick note here, when you're uploading videos to Pinterest from TikTok, I had problems. Uh, I had some real, some issues where Pinterest, um, I would upload the videos and then it wouldn't download or it wouldn't upload to Pinterest. It said it was the wrong format. So what I ended up having to do was upload my videos from Pinterest to Adobe Premiere Pro, which is an editing software and change it from a .mov to a .mp4. Now, if you don't have this issue, don't skip this part, but if you do find yourself trying this method and you can't upload your videos to Pinterest, or for some reason you upload your videos to Pinterest and it only shows one second of the video, just know that's the reason. You need to change it from .mov to .mp4. Really random, but 100% worth including. Okay, so now once we have our videos, and let's just recap really quickly, actually, that's a good idea. So let's recap. So what we've done is we've taken our niche. Let's say we're completely brand new to Pinterest and let's say that we're a yoga instructor and we wanna get on Pinterest. What we've done is we've gone to Pinterest and we've looked up our keywords that people who are interested in our niche are searching for. So yoga poses, yoga poses for beginners. What we've then done is we've created a board. Um, we've created a board and let's just do one right here just to, so we could all do this long. We've then created our board using that niche, using our niche and using the keywords in our niche. So let's create a new board here and let's talk about yoga poses for starters. Okay, and also uh, something that I forgot to mention is you can even load these up with more keywords. Uh, you can go to edit your board and then you could type in, do, do some more keyword stuffing like yoga, or you'd actually, you would write it out like this. These are yoga poses for starters. And then you go hashtag yoga, hashtag, you know, go back and stuff it with as many of these keywords as possible. And then once we have our board, what we then do is we go to TikTok, we download videos related to our niche and we upload them to our boards. Now, the last part is, is you should have at least been able to find seven videos, seven or more videos. So the last part is simply scheduling them into the Pinterest schedule. Now, Pinterest is a really cool platform uh, where you could actually schedule content to Pinterest and natively, you don't have to get an app like Buffer or Hootsuite or one of those third-party social media post schedulers. You can actually do it right within Pinterest. And so what I like to do is, uh, I like to schedule my post. So what I like to do is I like to really remember what we're thinking about is keyword first. So I'll do something like Instagram stories and then just to spice it up, I'll do something like cute beach couple and then exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. And then what I'll do is I'll have a set caption template for all of my pins. And this just makes me makes it incredibly easy for me to uh, schedule all of my pins because you know ideally what you would do is 
one day of the week, we'd schedule it out for the week or schedule it out for the month. So you want to be able to do this fast. And so I found that the description doesn't really matter much. You can just use the same description for every single pin as long as you have the right hashtags. And the way you gather your hashtags or you do your hashtag research is the same way as you do your keyword research. So like I said, you'd go back here, you'd search. You would also go to the add part, add section and look at the keyword traffic for those. Uh, it's the exact same way. And then tags, my tag is Instagram. Boom, right there, whatever your tag is. And then I'm linking all of these back to my Instagram account. So I just go Instagram.com backslash the influencer CEO. Then I publish at a later date and I just repeat that, repeat that, repeat that. Now, if you want this exact template that I use, my exact social media template, what you can do is I want you to like this video, comment I want in, and then go to the link in the description of this video, click it, and that will give you this um, caption template if you wanna make it even easier for yourself so you can simply get going. Okay, now let's get to some of the pain points. So that's it for this strategy. Um, let's, let's look at this pin right here. Let's go back to the screen and let's look at this pin. At the end of this pin is something that you've probably noticed running in the background, which is this right here. I ever, every single TikTok video, I've uploaded a unique video that says, follow me on Instagram for more tips and tricks. So now let's get back to this main camera and let's talk about some of the issues you may be having right now. You may be saying to yourself, Bobby, I don't wanna repost other people's content. I want to uh, repost my own content. Now remember, this is just the method to get eyeballs on your content. What I found is all of the people, I'm getting 120,000 views across all of these video pins that I'm using. One, I'm able to make it about myself because I'm throwing in this graphic at the end that drives traffic back to my page and it also lets people know that I'm a social media expert. So there's already the context when they go back to my Instagram page. So I've already made it about myself by using this. And I also have separate boards where I post exclusively my original content. And what happens is Pinterest makes it incredibly easy when you find a piece of uh, content that you like to subscribe to all of someone's boards. So what happens is I like to consider what we're doing here is the conduit. And a lot of people are gent boo coming boom, 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 boom. They're coming over and they're following all your boards and then they're subscribing to your boards and they're also seeing your original content. So this will drive traffic to your original pins and this also will drive traffic to your website, which at the end of the day, that is the important part. Okay, last part of the video here is I wanna talk about some pain points and why this isn't the go-to strategy for Pinterest. This is just part one of my journey of Pinterest. Um, I'm not getting as many link clicks as I want. Uh, th that's the reality. It could be because I'm linking my uh, Instagram and not linking my website, but you know the link clicks aren't there. I'm also finding people aren't watching, let's say I have a 10 second video. Most people are watching five seconds of the video. Um, what other problems am I having? Um, that I would say those are the two biggest issues is I'm not, I'm not getting enough link clicks to my website. So stay tuned. Videos two and three will be really focused on getting more link clicks. This first video here is just a hack that I think anybody can use because you can take this strategy and apply it to any niche. Also, I didn't see many Pinterest uh, social media growth hacking videos on YouTube. I simply saw the cookie cutter stuff, which isn't a dig at anybody. It's just, um, you know, it's good to have those videos and it's good to have these videos and it's good to try out and see what works best for you. Last thing here, this is by no means the go-to Pinterest method for anybody. I just like to give people options and I like to help people build influence on social media. So that is what this channel is all about. So please consider subscribing if you found this useful. This is my first Pinterest video. So this might be a little offbeat. This might be a little long. The editing might be a little bad, but trust me, the other videos I post, uh, yeah, I gotta have a good time if you stick around here uh last thing i've probably already said i've probably said last thing like 10 times but comment i want in if you want that caption template like this video i'll see you guys soon stick around to this channel we post a lot of good stuff about instagram tiktok helping you build influence and get your content seen across all platforms bye